If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Once you hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do part one of our machinery tour video. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, guys. Thanks. First thing today, we're gonna to moving these pigs to a pen outside so we can get all this sawdust and bedding back here cleaned out and so we can power wash the barn. So this is the pen we're gonna put them in. Trace is gonna get a sawdust bale right now as a skid loader. I mean a corn stock bale right now as a skid loader. I'll put them on here. They have plenty of room to play around and stuff and you get nice fresh air. So we brought a small bale in here and it's way too much for this pen for pigs. So we're gonna just bring a skiddy in here and scoop some of it out of here. Put it up by the cow shed to use for later. We got them moved in here. They're loving it. Nice breeze coming through here. What? Oh, we're just gonna feed them on the floor, which is no big deal. They like, they don't matter. They don't care where they get fed at. They might fight a little bit, but it'd be okay. They're funny Durax is what they are. The reason we still have these three is because can't find any locker spaces due to like COVID. So we're waiting for some locker spaces for these three. The rest of them have already gone. I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot during the clean penning, the pen cleaning process. I'm just going to have Landon's camera and let's do a time lapse of the whole thing. Basically what we're going to do is take all the gates down, take all the fans down, and to start scooping, take a while. So, you'll see it all right now.
gates put up and fans put away. And now I think we're going to be paying the cows, but I'm not quite sure what's going to be next. So now we are going to be haying the cattle. Chase is going to get bales, bale at the skid loader. I just pulled the truck up here so we can load it. I gotta flip the ramps and get the chains out. We'll chain the skid loader down, start the bale on, and it'll be headed onto the pasture. It's about five miles away. Here he comes, the bale. I'm just getting his binder set out here. I'm waiting for him. Yeah, set up in the front of the trailer so I can strap the back of the bale so it can't go nowhere. It'd be pinched between the neck of the trailer and the strap. There you go, it's not right back on the trailer. down there. Texting your girlfriend or what? Yeah. Oh. I know. That's why I said that.
got them hayed. Once I seen the bell hay come up in here, they all came down from out back and started eating. Our cows are pretty well plump, which is okay. I like I'm fat, not skinny. I think there's about 20 head out here, including cows and calves. It's more down there. Now I'm gonna go home and unload, unload the skid loader and probably do chores. and we got chores done. Now, me and Landon are working on the corn heads. Right now we're checking gear oil on them. He's checking them all, and I'm coming back behind him filling them up, the ones that he leaves open. So that way, they're ready to go for this fall. I don't take long or it's not very hard because things are done every year so we'll get this done and then we'll see what we do next I'm not sure Chase is making this gate here taller so we don't have the heads every time we go to feed baby calves or pigs now we gotta stand it up so you can get the underside of the tube So I got all these checked, they were all good. So these are done for the day. Mike was working on a bunch of other stuff on it, like deck plates and stuff. He went home already today. So corn heads are in progress. Chase got this all welded up, so we're gonna get the forklift over here and take it back into the barn. Maybe throw some paint at it, we'll see. Just that way it's all white, but plenty good for what we use it for. So I got it in and got it painted. This will work really nice now. I'm 6'3 and I can walk under there no problem now, so this will be awesome. Hey, Peggy. 
having fun. You like Brandon in your feed? Yeah. Okay. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Once you hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do part one of our machinery tour video. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, guys. Thanks.